Hi, Dora. It's Martin and Nick. Sorry, I'm just fiddling around with my lights to make me all look pretty. OK, so we're going to go through 175 St. Mary's Road. Yes, the place is a wreck. You know that because you've seen the particulars, but uh, I quite like it. Anyway, let's get into it. So the very first thing I'm going to do is go into go through the overall um, the overall sales particulars, and then we kind of dig deeper into there. Now this looks to me like a 1920s or early 30s house. It's had it's been re-roofed, I think, because it's got that concrete tile on it. I doubt that's from I doubt that's 90 years old. I think it's probably more modern. And also this is kind of interesting. So this is probably original feature here and it's got the nice bay windows and the reasonably good brickwork. It's just a nice, tidy little house with a nice front courtyard, the kind of nice semi detached house that people love to live in. And it's got scope for some massive improvements. So one of the good things about these kind of properties are that they were fundamentally reasonably well built. In other words, they'd have damp proof courses, so they're not going to suffer from damp issues. And this one has had new new double glazing in at some point in the last 20 years. Big back garden overlooked by a nursing home. Got some big old Leylandi trees out the back. I don't know whether they belong to the property or not, but that's a big old yard. And and this is obviously a house that belonged to somebody elderly who just didn't modernize it for an incredibly long time. So this is just like as prime a uh, renovation project as you can get in, in respect to just like really extending it out to the side, put a garage in there, put a big conservatory out the back. It's a lot of remodeling and it would be a big old project. But what a project it would be. I mean, it would just this place would would zing once done. So this is an unusual setup. See the laboratory on a plinth. Now that concerns me slightly because the only reason you would do that is because the sewage pipe needs a gradient to get out. And maybe the gradient isn't steep enough on the ground floor, uh, you know, if it was on the floor itself. But this is very 1970s, this this tap here. So I presume this sink, this whole lot was done in the 70s. Um, and what I'm interested in are signs of damp. So this is the first floor. It looks OK, I mean, that is a little damp down there, but I think that's probably condensation from CO2, i.e. people in there breathing and just moisture accumulating. I don't think it's actual damp damp, so it looks it looks fine. And here we are, the double glazing all looks OK, very dirty, obviously needs a good clean. The, the walls and plaster, everything looks all right. Now, what I'm looking for are are um, is is where you have the 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 the. So essentially these walls, they would have been solid plaster on obviously it's a brick wall and then you'd have plaster on that and and then a skim coat and then you probably would have had a lining a wall um, a paper lining on that and if it's kind of peeling off then that means that there might be signs of damp but it's not it's good there's a little bit of peel here you can see in this corner but then these are the sort of little lurking corners where you would have damp issues potentially but it all looks basically good this bay window has obviously had issues you can see that this is um the the paper was probably on that and then it came off so there's probably some damp knocking around there but you'd expect that but it's not serious it's just it's not fun it's not a fun doesn't demonstrate a fundamental problem with this place again 1970s stuff so this you can imagine the story here this would have been purchased by a family in the late 60s early 70s they would have renovated it back then very old boiler that would need replacing and the only thing that they would have really tidied up in between times would have or, or improved upon would have been the double glazing because that would be a huge benefit to the property. And that that's like 25, 20, say 30, 20 to 30 years old, I would say, and in reasonably good condition. 
downstairs, all of this looks OK, but obviously not nice carpet, something going on there. That is possibly rising damp, but I would be surprised if it was. All the doors need replacing. Yeah, I mean, this is a big project. It's a good project, but a big one. And we're going to get into all of the numbers uh, in a little bit, like the valuations and so on. So, OK, let's just have a quick look at the floor plan and we can see there it is. Any idea on EPCs for this and how big it is? It, it, uh, it's EPCs E, mm. um, but E with uh, 53 scores, so basically E can be D. It's only need to be um, 55 scores. So basically okay. um, to be to be a C, uh, it needs uh, floor insulation, cover wall insulation, it's need uh, room heating. Mm. Uh, well, the whole thing has to be renovated. So the main thing is that it should get to EPCC if it's done properly because you didn't fill the cavities with insulation. Yeah, and you can also add the extension. You can see a lot of property nearby have double, almost double extensions. Yeah, look at this monster here. And this is the kind of thing. So this area, I suspect it demands this kind of quality of 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 extension, huge extension, double height extension. I mean, they're yeah. all extended. So, you know, lots of people are going to be looking at this thinking, oh, lots of people will view the property, but not that many people will will seriously consider it because the problem you've got is it's a big renovation. It's going to demand a lot of cash expenditure to bring this up and look how huge these other gardens are. Now, the good thing about these this plot is it's big enough to 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 carry a large extension. OK, next is the, um, the demographics and all that. Lovely yeah, and, and, uh, yeah, because this property is like real near high, high, high crime, but it doesn't have connection if you unzoom a little bit on the left side. Uh, where you have the bad score. Yeah, like a left right, button. Just, it, it'll just take okay. a moment for it all. No, le no, that, that's right. Other side of the screen. Left and. Uh, you oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Oh, but this is the infamous Moston housing estate or whatever. Yeah, but just that, that that's, but it's not far away. It doesn't have really good connection. I will speak about it later. This is very quiet, this area. Yeah, it's this incredibly area. quiet. It's like one crime every three months or one six months. It's very, very quiet. The only thing I'm slightly concerned about in terms of proximity is just its position so close to the nursing home. Um, it just slightly detracts from it because it is overlooked, but overall it's it's very nice. The other issue is that it it's, that back garden doesn't get a whole lot of sunlight, but anyway. All right, let's just, so the crime is low. Demographics are good. This is your classic kind of middle class Manchester area. It's just a very quite a lot of private rented in, in the in the environs here and it's quite far away from the railway. So that's all good. It's just one of those nice areas to to put it that way. Now, if you look at the capital growth, it's uh, it's really high. So if we look here, it's 12, 20. So it's just generally in a massively high growth area. And if you're undertaking a big development project like this, I say big, I mean, it's all things are relative. But if you're taking a development project like this, at least you know you've got a really good tailwind with excellent growth. So that's encouraging. Now, um, I'll just give you sort of more context on this. So M40, 22% thereabouts. So it's one of the top growing areas in the whole country, to give you some idea. And in the previous cycle, the previous period where, if you remember, um, we'll have a look at this. So we know that there are growth cycles. There was probably one here, but it's a little bit small. First World War affected a few things. But you can see, and then we had the Great Depression, but there was still a peak. And anyway, so property cycle number nine, and as you know, we're somewhere here. We're in the boom and we're in the last leg of the boom. So this property, if renovated, it'll uh, it's just so attractive if if done. And you would probably increase the usable floor area by 
fifty percent minimum. So yeah. how many square feet is it again? It's small, sixty-four. Right. Okay. So so really, you're looking at um, it's over to you. Uh, yeah, you'd probably get it up to a thousand square feet or more. Uh, yeah. Sorry, a hundred square meters. Let's say. Yeah. So ninety-six. Yes. E. But I'm not be worried because it's 53. It's if it's yeah, like it's uh, 39 or something. But when you will paint, decorate, basically it will increase the wall, cavity wall, as built no insulation. So it has uh, roof insulation, full double glaze. Just need, I will replace the maybe the glasses for, for the whole mm. house, but maybe, I don't know. We need to see. Okay, so that's it. The, also, yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, insulation. Uh, if you want, you want to increase, so basically it can be see not, but uh, basically sixty eight is for change room here the boiler mm -hmm. because basically these properties have a lot of because it doesn't have radiator, so everything needs to be changed. yeah New everything place. has to be put in from scratch and so on. So that's, uh, a, I think you know, it's a big job. 20, 22K. Mm. And yeah, it's large. Well, but... minimum. I think it, a lot depends on how you, on on how high, uh, you know, on the quality of the work. Okay. Okay. Um, we, let's do work. flooding and coal mining and then let's get into the yeah. valuations, uh, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So you can see a lot of huge, that's why I, I know that it's next to, Mm, but it's nothing like it will make noise or it will Yeah, no, it's a nursing home. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> how, so, noisy, yeah. how noisy, how <laughs> Yeah, so that's why I, I analyzed this. I said like, okay, it's okay. Anyway, it's next to it, but it will not be noisy. It's not that overlooked. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. so basically if you want to do ex extension only on one floor is around 15, uh, 1,500 pounds per meter square so if you want like one a large kit to extend the kitchen just saying like you can consider uh, also extend the lunch here mm -hmm. so if you want to like add 15 or 10 um meter square or 12 it will be around 15 20k more if you want to but if you do that it will increase the value of the property really so yeah, I'm this is what I'm uh, super curious about. Could we have a look at it? So yeah, okay, let's do so that and then let's do the valuations because this is the real question. Reverse and the see where it low risk. So I will not be consider. I, I will open the maps, but but I will not be consider about anything. It's really really like low risk. Yeah, it's fine. And um, for the uh, coal mining. So basically, the property is here. And when you zoom, it shows that it, it's somewhere here. And I try to see on the map where it's supposed to be. Somewhere on the other side of the road, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, so I will not be considered because if it's here, yes, I will be considered a lot. But mm. if it's on the other side, I, and I guess it's I guess it's somewhere here. So I, let's say that here, I will just make, take a measurement. Because I... Um, from here to so if it's somewhere it's here yeah it's, it's tight. 30. it should be okay yeah but it's tight so i don't know because this map it showed that it's other side of the street mm. because you can see it's show here and it show in the middle of the road. It shows somewhere here mm. on this. So if it's somewhere, it's here. That's 40 meters. So it should be okay. Yeah. Because as you can see, it show on other side of the map on the street. Here is the street, and here is the the tiny street. So yeah, basically, it should it show, be okay. It yeah, should it, be it okay. Should. It's a little tight, but it should be okay. It, it should be here somewhere, I guess. Mm. I I try to see on the map to see where it is, but it's covered, so we cannot see it. So because these people built here, so I don't see that it's a big issue. So, so let's get into the valuation stuff, shall we? Yeah, yeah. Because really the conversation begins when we work out the numbers. Uh, I think with extension, we'll at least 200 
Okay, K. so what's the ask at the moment? It's 100 One, and... 50. Yeah, it's... So to renovate a property of that size, we've done some quotes for other properties. You're talking about 20, say 23,000 pounds, let's say, to do a deep renovation. The, this, this is a similar, pro similar property, but it's not perfect condition, but you can see it's okay. Mm. You can... I just, you just need and some screen that, 180. Yeah, 180 and the same size, so, but asking price. So, but you can see like more modern properties, more better properties are selling uh, mm. more expensive. So for example, this property is extended. Yeah, okay. And what about rents? 900. Okay. So let's say like if you take it for 160 um, plus 25 to renovate, let's say. Well, that's so, basic renovation. So that doesn't increase the footprint. It just tidies it up. Yeah. So yeah, but it will rent for 900. So 160 plus 25, so 185. 5.8. Mm. It's not perfect. And it's, but it's not bad. Yeah, it's that old story where it's in Nick, you get mute, I guess. Nick, I, I cannot hear you. I cannot hear you. Uh, I cannot hear you. And I, I will add that this property, the crime, the high crime is here. So I, I will set the, the, the property from here to here. To Hi, do you hear me now? Yes, I do. Do you hear me? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't hear you, but I will. I just need yeah. to change my audio. So basically, okay. here is. I'm nearly here, there. I'm just gonna... Okay, so here is the most primary, uh, most primary place. So as you can see, it's like one kilometer. Yeah, no, the crime isn't an issue. I think the the issue. Do you hear me? Okay, by the way. Is yeah, 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 yeah. I heard. You. Yeah, but the, right. the, the crime is far away, so that's why I like. If the property was in this patch, I will avoid. But this this is much far away from the crime or the most crimey place. Maybe in Manchester, one of the most crimey place. I will. I think the, the the key to this whole project or this whole thing is the value of the property once renovated and the benefit to you if renovated so as a general rule if you say that you think for every thousand pounds you put in to renovating the property you get say thousand five hundred pounds back or 1.7 so my calculation is 1.7 or at least it should be then if you put in 20 grand into tidying it up in theory you should get nearly 37 back out let's say in value gain um or, or yeah well kind of yeah between 30 call it thirty-five let let's say so so uh so in other words you get you you get seventeen thousand pounds in actual value gain on the property um, but of course, you've got quite a long renovation period, and and if so, if you're going to just redo all the decoration, I would say it's going to be, um, as I said, uh, circa twenty thousand pounds. We have a way of doing all the doing all of the the you know our algorithms are quite good for this kind of stuff, but circa twenty, I would say. So okay, in short. Or in summary, um, if you want to have a go at it, you've got to be brave, basically, because this is going to be involved. And uh, you don't have to be brave as such. Well, you kind of do because you'll be financing this thing. Um, but it has its risks as ever because it's a renovation project. And therefore, you know, you've got to assume that everything's going to go smoothly on the build and all that kind of stuff. And it should do because there's nothing fundamentally wrong with this property. It's, yeah basically good um, but the yeah it, 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 where I would draw the line though is doing the extensions 
So the problem there is that if you put in a big back extension, then great, but uh, you're not going to see a return in extra rent, basically. So, so the way I feel with this one is you buy it as a wreck, you do it up, you get it into good rentable condition, you hang on to it, you either sell it at the top of the cycle to a homeowner who's just desperate to expand the property like the others have been. So there's a lot of potential in this property, which is very attractive to a lot of people. Yeah. And I think you get really good money for it or you just wait 15 years. So you wait till, you know, the next crash bottoms out and it comes back up again and then, you know, you can sell it then. So I don't think it's an optimal renter. I mean, it's an optimal renter from the point of view of it'll rent, it'll get good money. But it's like you're going through an awful lot of hassle to get to a point where you could probably find a property that's in much better condition, that's a bit more expensive, where where it's really just five grand in just to give it a good tidy up, stage it nicely, and then it's a rent and go. So it's really just how much is that extra value gain worth to you? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, What's your opinion, think, Martin? Yeah, to put all the boiler and the radiators, it's only 7K to 10. So... Well, it's put 2,000, so I've done some numbers on this. It would be, uh, yeah, so 7K would probably be on the higher end, I would say, if you do the thermostats and make the, get a fancy yeah. boiler. And and then, so re-plumbing, if you say re-plumbing, because actually that's probably what it's going to have to be, then yes, you're right. So if it's boiler, rads, re-plumbing, 7K, yes. Yeah, 7K for that, plus so 7K for kitchen and bathroom. So that's around 14 and plus painting, decorating, and remove some, I think it had, to tidy the garden, to to, yeah, remove, yeah. The, to, to remove the pit. So it will, around 20, 25, I think 23 is a reasonable number. Maybe the, even the electricity to be changed because the wire, because I'm yeah, not sure how. Yeah, I'd be surprised with these rewiring, because one of the issues with, with modern wiring, with uh, modern fuse boards is they're really sensitive. So, so it's old wiring and um, plus doors and so on. If you go up to 25, I will be surprised. Yeah. Well, the, the thing with well, old rewire, old wiring is it just um, causes problems with modern fuse boards that you have to have to satisfy building regulations. Uh, and and then anyway, so it's a lovely property. It's a great renovation property, and it's in a nice enough location. Not a great, great location. It's okay, um, like in terms of the road proximity and all that. Um, but I, will, I yeah. think the price is not high, but uh, maybe high because of the location. So, what would you offer? What's the maximum you would offer on this? One sixty maximum, maximum. maximum. So 160 maximum offer. I think people will try and get above 160. I think they'll bid it up above 160. It's just, it's a homeowner's dream because it's got so much potential for enlargement and yeah. value gain that, that it'll be an ambitious homeowner that wants to renovate and go for it. So yeah. anyway, there we are. All right, Dora, I hope that was helpful. And uh, thank you. Thank you.